This tutorial explains how to modify the scientific notation on the axis of a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains one column, which is called X, and this column contains random numeric values. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geomdensity, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new density plot. And you can also see that on the x-axis of this plot, the axis values or the axis labels are shown with scientific notation. So let's assume that we want to modify this scientific notation on the plot axis. Then we can apply the functions of the scales package. And to use the functions of the scales package, we first need to install and load the scales package, as you can see in lines 12 and 13 of the code. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can modify our plot axis using the scale x continuous function and the unit format function. So if you run lines 15 and 16 of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our plot axis has been updated. So now the plot axis values are shown differently. Because as you can see in the previous plot, the scientific notation in the middle label and in the right label has been E plus 0, 07. And now in the updated plot, it's always E plus 0, 06. So all the scientific notations have been harmonized in this plot. In the next example, I want to show you a different approach, and this approach is based on the functions of the string R package. As you can see in lines 18 and 19, I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 19 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the string R package. And then in the next step, I'm also creating a user-defined function based on these string R functions. So if you run lines 21 to 26 of the code, you can see that at the top right, a new function object is appearing, which is called format custom psi. I will put the code of this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can just copy and paste the code from there. And then in the next step, I'm applying the scale x continuous function once again, and I'm using the labels argument in this case, and I'm setting this argument to be equal to our function. So if you run lines 28 and 29 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated once again, and this time our plot is shown without any decimal points. So now the first label is 80E5, and the second and third labels are 10E6 and 12E6. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.